My name is Mark Zabrowski, and I'm here to help you become a better product innovator. Welcome to my video series on the innovator's vision, a blueprint for generating product innovation. You know, history is filled with examples of innovations that created great rewards, produced great rewards in revenue, in profit, and that changed our lives. The question is, how can we do that? How can you do that? In this video series, I describe a mental process that seems to have been involved in sparking these innovations. By deconstructing these innovations, you are able to see a reoccurring set of stimuli that seems to have contributed to the emergence of these innovations. I describe each of the stimuli along with examples and rationale so you can understand how they may have contributed to these innovations. This is great information, but what comes next is really exciting. If we can apply these same stimuli proactively to a business, we have an opportunity to generate a terrific range of new product innovation. I provide guidelines and steps for you to apply in your company with your team to apply this today to your business. And I conclude by demonstrating how this method can create actual new to the world products that I think you would be excited by. You know, if you want to exceed your competition, you have to exceed them in the way you search and identify new product ideas. You need that kind of method. This is it. In this video series, you will learn how to apply these stimuli that I call the innovator's vision to your business to generating a higher degree of product innovations. Here is episode two of the innovator's vision defining the reoccurring stimuli of innovations. Episode 1 presented the innovator's vision, a pattern of reoccurring mental stimuli that appeared to spark innovations. Expanded business definition, immersion in the arena, trend opportunities, challenging existing beliefs, borrowing or combining behavior, borrowing or combining technology, and mind tools. These are the stimuli of the innovator's vision. Whether in groups or singularly, these stimuli appear to drive many product innovations. A blueprint for generating innovative product ideas. If we can define these reoccurring stimuli and then apply these same stimuli proactively to a business challenge, we might be able to generate a high level of innovative new product ideas. This is the essence of what I call the innovator's vision driving, a blueprint for generating innovative new product ideas, a blueprint derived from historical innovations. This lecture series is all about applying this blueprint to your business to generate more innovative new product ideas. In this lecture series, there are four episodes. You are watching episode two. In episode three, I will show you how to conduct the innovator's vision driving in your team. And in episode four, I will demonstrate how the innovator's vision driving can create actual new to the world product ideas that I think you'll really get excited about. In this episode, I define each stimuli in the innovator's vision, and I offer examples of how they might have sparked innovations as singular stimuli. Let's look at each of the reoccurring stimuli of the innovator's vision. Expanded business definition. Most challenges start with a stated objective or business definition, but the given statement may not be optimal in leading to the best outcomes. 
By expanding the challenge, we see greater possibilities. Let's look at some examples. Arm & Hammer redefined their business from baking soda to freshening and achieved tremendous success and increases in revenue. Nike redefined their business from athletic shoes to enhancing athletic performance. And Netflix overcame Blockbuster by redefining the business from retail movie rentals to becoming a movie provider. Immersion in the arena. What opportunities do we see from an immersion in our current arena? Well, this is the most obvious and traditional approach to new product innovations and comes with different names. Let's look at some examples. Is our liquid cleansers business mature and ready for new methods? P&G thought so and created Swiffer, surface cleaning devices. Is there a niche opportunity in the household moving industry? That question was answered by Pods, who created personalized moving and storage. Are there opportunities to expand into other seasons or day parts? In 1975, McDonald's expanded as a burger provider to a breakfast meal provider. Trend Opportunities We live in a world of ongoing events. When these events occur with more consistency over time, they are called trends. Trends create threats and opportunities. The rising online purchasing trend is certainly an opportunity for all online merchants, but it's a threat to all of the brick-and-mortar retailers. The reduced ozone layer in the atmosphere is an opportunity for sun protection products because it is a threat to skin health. Our focus is on how trends drive opportunities for innovations. Let's look at some examples. Cyber hacking is a trend, unfortunately, but it has created the opportunity for LifeLock identity protection. More disruptive weather has created the opportunity for Generac emergency energy supplies. And the trend in customization has given rise to such items as made-to-order jeans. Challenging beliefs. Millions saw the apple fall, but Newton was the one who asked why. Let's look at some examples here. We cannot see inside of our bodies without surgery. That belief was challenged to create medical x-rays. Ocean water is undrinkable. That belief was challenged to create water desalinization. We can only skate on ice. Well, the inventor of roller skates did not think so. Borrowing or combining behavior. Lenses make things look bigger. And that was borrowed to create the first telescope. Nature's hiding ability was borrowed as a behavior to create military camouflage. Let's look at some examples here. Falling water as a behavior was borrowed to create water mills and more recently hydroelectric power. Bats echolocation technique was borrowed to create radar and later sonar. And to some extent the mechanics of fluids was borrowed to create lasers. Borrowing or combining technology. All innovations are built on previous technology rungs. 
Let's look at some examples. Combine proximity sensors plus motors and you get automatic door openers. Combine telephone plus GPS plus internet plus operating system and we create the iPhone. Combine thermal imaging and binoculars and we see the creation of night vision goggles. Mind tools. What are mind tools? Think of mind tools as non-drug mental stimulants that expand our thinking. Just like a prism manipulates light, mind tools expand new product ideas. Let's see examples. Change the environment and radar underwater becomes sonar. Divide it into parts and we see the creation of disposable blades in a razor. And make it flexible and we see the emergence of the new technology of wearable technology. These are the reoccurring stimuli of the innovator's vision. In summary, whether acting singularly, as in these examples, or when combined into groups, these stimuli appear to drive many product innovations as a blueprint for innovation. This lecture series is all about applying this blueprint to your business to generate more innovative new product ideas. So take a look at episode 3, where I will show you how to conduct the innovator's vision driving in your team.